All right, great. Now that we've gone through and talked about what low content publishing is, Kindle publishing is, giving you a quick overview of interiors and covers, the tools that you need to be able to do those things. Um, we're going to talk about picking a niche or looking for keywords, looking at what kind of books do you want to create. So uh, obviously this all goes down on Amazon. Um, there's a couple tools that you're going to want to get. First, you want to make sure you use Google Chrome. All right, as you can see, we got Google Chrome open up here. And there are a couple plugins that you're going to want to make sure to install for Google Chrome. The first one is Keywords Everywhere, which is a awesome tool that you're going to have to start paying for a little bit, um, certain parts of it. But uh, check out Keywords Everywhere Keyword Tool and install this into Chrome. All right. And what Keywords Everywhere does is when you Google for something, so let's go to Google. And let's look up a uh, pilot's log book, right? Um, what Keywords Everywhere will do is it will give you related keywords, student pilot log book, professional pilot log book, and it will also give you expanded keywords that people have also searched for that are seeming to be related to that. Now, there are metrics that can go with this as well, and that's what they're showing here under the volume, CPC, and comp. My don't show because I've used them all, and you need to purchase credits to load them. Uh, they started this new um, program of how they load those metrics, and you can see the pricing here. So for 10 bucks, you get uh, 10,000 credits. It's pretty cheap, honestly, because if we're going to go and want to load that, this would take eight credits and loading that metrics here would take 44 credits. So for 10 bucks, you get to see a lot of different stuff. Now, when you first sign up, you get a bunch of credits kind of for free off the bat, or at least I did. Um, and you'll be able to then see it here what the volume ranking is you'll also see it here well where does that come into play that comes into play in amazon.com so if we go to our amazon and we look for that same pilots log book if we had keywords everywhere working properly it would show up here what the what the volume is like how many people are searching for it but I don't have those credits right now. But it is a great tool, so definitely check it out. Keywords everywhere, it works really nicely. Okay, so then the other thing that you're gonna look at um, is if you wanna scroll through, uh, is you'll see right here how many results showed up for it. So there's 452 results for Pilot's Logbook. Um, and that will tell you that there's uh, that many results would come back in the number of pages for Pilot's Logbook, okay? And you can see all those fun ones here. Now, the other cool tool that you want to have is called AMZ Search Expander. AMZ Suggestion Expander, I'm sorry. And this is exactly what it does here, is it helps find keywords based off of what you type into Amazon. Okay, so they say the Chrome extension expand the number of search suggestions that are shown in the Amazon search bar, right? So what does this do? When we type in our pilot's logbook, it will tell us that there's people that search for pilot logbook student and flight logbook for pilots. Okay, if you were to type in something as simple as kid activity, you know, it will come up with kid activity set, kid activity gym, all those kind of ones. Let's say we had a uh, kids coloring. Kid coloring book for girls. Now, if you had keywords everywhere installed, it would also show that volume ranking information if there's people that search for it here right next to each one of these. So that's pretty cool. They kind of work together really nicely. Um, so this is one way you can go about searching for keywords and stuff like that. The other one, um, if you're going to spend some money on credits on here, like 10 bucks, not a big investment, right? And you get 100,000 credits, that will go pretty far for you. My only suggestion is make sure to turn it off when you're not using it. I didn't do that. Um, and I do a lot of other stuff where I'm Googling for a lot of things, and it was using my credits every time I Googled for something, so I ran through my credits 
pretty quickly. Uh, it's pretty easy to turn off. Like if you have it open, you click on it, you just turn it on and off right there. So make sure, turn it off when you're not actively looking for keywords uh, so you don't use up your credits. But a really great uh, tool to use, and you could get it through my link below, is Publisher Rocket. So this is put together by the people over at Kindlepreneur, um, and it is a really awesome tool for keyword and competition analysis. All right, so very similar to what we were just doing, we would choose whether we're looking at an ebook or a regular book, and we would type in here, um, we would type in here something like, again, uh, kids coloring book. And it will go and it will find related keywords and it will start loading all of them, right? So here we've got it loading up, uh, you know, kids coloring book from four to eight. Um, we click on analyze and it will tell us that it's 80 on a scale of one to 100 to break into that market, about 16,000 searches a month and about 16,000 competitors. It's really competitive. Uh, we're probably not gonna wanna go in there. Let's look at Halloween. It's 75 to get in, only about 1,500 searches and 15,000 people looking, uh, results come out for underneath that. So we need to get more specific. So as we talked about in our other videos, this is a big blue ocean. There are so many different options you can go down. Um, so look, coloring book for kids, Christian, Disney. Disney might not be able to do that. That might be trademark. Might want to be careful. A um, lot of searches, not too many results, 45 competition. You might be able to get in on that one if you can work around the trademark and legal issues and not get in trouble. You do not want to do that and get your account closed down. So be careful. Um, let's see here. Jumbo. No, that's pretty pretty well saturated. So you got to spend some time looking around and looking for these um, keywords that you can tackle um, to get uh, something that will make money for you, right? This one is interesting, right? Giant Kids Coloring Book. So that's a big coloring book. There's 1,200 results, 4,000 searches a month, but they say it's an 80 competition. Somehow the people that are doing this here are making really good sales so it might be hard to knock them down so if you click competition you get to see you know first giant coloring book unicorn right so these are some of the options that are um, showing up there and this opens up the competition analyzer side of things and you can see that it's been on there for 737 days that's how many days it's been up it's average bestseller ranking this one's 924 231 they're doing really well um how much they're probably making a day and how much they're probably making a month based off of their ranking how long they've been around um you know they're doing they're doing pretty good Right, so this was a toddler one, my first toddler coloring book. Um, we could take that and we could probably look at that to see what, what they're doing. But if you want to check it out, you just check it out and it opens it up on Amazon. Um, so you can see that it's been up here since February 6th of 2018. Um, I kind of want to go down so they do have an actual publisher. This isn't just like a low content book, but it's making money. But look at that, it's really simple, like coloring numbers, one, two, three, one, two, three, right, four, wow. You know, so honestly, this would be really easy to make um, as a book. It's just, can you compete with them? That's where you might have trouble, right? Uh, would you be able to compete with them? And that's where you would have to go back to your keyword research and say, all right, well, let me look now for, you know, um, toddler coloring, right? I wrote that twice. And go get them rocket. Let's see what's going on. Toddler coloring books. Yowzer. You're not getting in there. That's too much going on, right? Toddler coloring books for animals. You're not getting in there. You're not getting in there. I mean, I don't want to, uh, you know, dishearten anybody from trying, but this is like obviously a very saturated market. Um, learn the alphabet. It's going to be tough. You know, you might be able to get in. I would try it, just to try it, because there's not very many people looking. Paw Patrol, again, that's a copyrighted uh, thing these days, right? Um, 
but if you're looking for a place to get in, this is what you have to do. You just gotta spend some time knocking around and doing that keyword research before you spend time making a book. Keyword research, it's it's like they said Abraham Lincoln, if you gave him four hours to cut down a tree, he's gonna spend three hours sharpening his axe. Find the the, the niche that you wanna go after, right? So it's kinda of like, um, let's do like uh, guest books. That's another one, right? Guest book celebration of life. 76, 15,000 competitors. It might be a little tough to get in there, but guest book for memorial service, 4,000. An 80 competition, okay, for visitors, for the shower. That's interesting. There's a lot of them, though. Um, funeral guest books, kind of morbid to think about, but looks like there might be some in there. Um, and, and you're going to just see all this tool gives you all these kind of awesome long tail keywords. And that's where we live in this ocean is that there's so many different options. And we will find something that's worthwhile by going through and analyzing these. Um, and just because, you know, uh, you know, guest books is saturated doesn't mean that the entire guest books region is saturated. Look, guest books for baby showers, 52. Um, you could try and get in on that, you know. Um, so just because the overall niche keyword is saturated doesn't mean the specific long tail side of this. And when I say the long tail, that's this funeral guest books, hardcover, right? The more words we add to it, the better. Um, we're actually loaded up to like seven words, 50 characters or so when doing our keywords. So we want to analyze all the way down to that um, and find the ones where people are searching for them, but there doesn't exist many options. And that's where we'll be able to um, make our money. You know what I mean? Um, right here, like you could get in here, but there's not there's a hundred searches a month. Unless wooden, you know, takes off, uh, it's not going to really, you know, do much for you probably. Um, here, you got some options to get in on that because there's not many competitors, um, and you'll be able to just keep going down the line and finding something. Look, customizable guest books. Three hundred forty-two people search for that. It's only like ten. You can make something that will fit that bill. Um, and you just keep looking for all those different ways to find something. Um, puzzle guest books would be pretty cool. I'm kind of curious what we could find under the puzzle. I've always wanted to get into puzzle books, so let's look at puzzle. I don't want to go down too much of a puzzle coloring book. Puzzle coloring book for adults. Okay. You know, and we want to see what, what different options exist. Puzzle calendar. Maybe, you know, people like calendars of puzzles. That's interesting. I kind of want to see what that is. The original Sudoku page a day calendar. Okay, so you can make some Sudoku stuff. You know, there's tons and tons of ideas out there. Your imagination is a limit. So check out Publisher Rocket. Um, if you want to invest in it, it's like 97 bucks, but it's well worth it. Use my link if you don't mind. We get a little credit. helps pay the bills around here. But if you want to do low cost as possible, you can install the keywords everywhere in the Amazon Search Expander. But, you know, there's one thing. When you purchase the right tools, it gives you a leg up to make money faster. And like I said, you want to spend time on this keyword research because if you go and just make a... Um, if you go and just make a toddler coloring book, you're probably not going to get in there. You know, you might think that you're going to be able to, but it's going to be really tough. Maybe you have a hit, maybe you don't. Um, the goal with the keyword research is to find areas where, you know what, there's not much competition. You're getting in early. You're able to dominate there. So check that out, um, and I appreciate your time.